Hi, this is Megan Jacks, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I'm here today to show you how to use a Creative Memories custom cutting system to make a shutter icon out of paper or cardstock, which is a perfect complement to Creative Memories Picture This Collection. As of July 2020, that collection is currently available on the Creative Memories website. It's a wonderful, full of blues and some greens, and has um, camera and photography elements in it that are a lot of fun for just general scrapbooking. This shutter icon uses the recently re-released Jumbo Circle, which is, I'm super excited, it's back into Creative Memories regular lineup. So we're gonna use the Jumbo Circle. We're also going to use the Heart with Hexagon template from the Gemstone Collection, a blue blade and the red blade. I also have my 13 by 13 cutting mat. If you don't have this mat, I really recommend it. It has all of the measurements on the outside, which makes it super easy to use when you're using a full sheet of 12 by 12 paper. To start off, we're going to use our jumbo circle with a piece of navy cardstock. This navy cardstock is going to be the backing portion of my shutter icon. I have a second one here that I've made, and so you can see it's my backing color. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to center my cardstock on my mat, and then I'm going to center my jumbo circle on my um, cutting mat. The reason I'm taking the time to center it is because I'm using a full sheet of paper. If I want to reuse this paper for something else and I want to have that circle nice and centered, it's already done. For this, I'm going to use the red blade. So for my backing mat, I'm using the red blade on the inside track. And I circle all the way around. I'm gonna make sure I can pull away. I'm good. So then I'm gonna set this aside. The next sheet I'm gonna use is a 12 by 12 piece of Royal cardstock, or excuse me, this is blue. This is the new blue that came out this year. Once again, I'm gonna center my custom template. Something I want to point out, if you are able to kind of get in there and see, you'll see little dots in the plastic and they are, you can find the ones that are opposite each other and that can really help you to center. So I actually have them marked with a Sharpie. It's really hard to see, but I have Sharpie marks on these dots and I am using those to mark line up with my six, my halfway point, And that's allowing me to center. For the blue one, I really want to make sure it's centered because in the next step, you'll see why. So I'm going to use my blue blade for the blue cardstock here to make my shutter blades. What I'm working on here is these pieces. So I'm going to use the blue blade for that. I've got it all lined up. And I'm going to go all the way around. And then what I'm going to do is try carefully to leave it centered on my mat. The reason I need it centered on my mat, and I'm going to do a visual inspection to make sure I feel like I'm pretty centered. I look pretty good is now I need to center my hexagon in the middle and I need to try as much as I can to get that centered. So what I'm actually going to do is grab a ruler to help me out. The heart has those little marks I talked about at the in the dip and the point here which I can line up with six but there's not really a corresponding ones in the center of my hexagon so I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to kind of visually approximate where that center is and I need to bring it down just a little bit and this is where you want to take the time to get it as centered as possible it just makes the next step even easier so there I look pretty good I'm going to hold it in place I'm going to use my red blade for this one and on the inside for the hexagon track I'm going to go ahead and cut out my hexagon. And I didn't quite get as good as I want. That's okay though. So now I have a circle with a hexagon in the middle. The next step is to use the 12 inch rotary trimmer. And for this step, you're going to line up 
the flat edge of one of the sides of the hexagon with the cutting line. So I'm going to line it right up. I'm going to try to get it as centered or as covered on those dots so I know that I'm going to cut. I'm going to come up here in the middle, just about right in the middle, and I'm going to pull downward. I'm going to rotate to the next hexagon line. I've made my first shutter blade. Lift up, and I'm going to keep going all the way around each flat edge of this hexagon, and I'm going to trim. So I'll end up with six total blades for this shutter. I have one last to do. So now you can see I've got six shutter blades. The next step here is I'm going to trim a quarter inch off of the long edge. So you can see where it kind of curves in here. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to trim a quarter inch off, which is going to about to the edge of that gray trim mat. And I'm going to do this on all six pieces. And then what I'm going to be left with, I would have six pieces and then what you would do is start to place them around the circle that you made earlier. And I recommend using repositionable adhesives for this. Part of the reason is that it, you'll find that placement can be a little bit tricky. You can use these quarter inch leftover strips to kind of help you place all the way around. And then what you will end up with is once you've placed all six all the way around, you will end up with this. So this shutter, I then used a 12 by 12 piece of pattern cardstock. And I've paired it here with four by four photos that I then have about a four and three eighths inch mat all the way around and just put in some of the different um, elements from the uh, picture this collection. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video and you now know how to make a shutter icon using the creative memories custom cutting system i'm going to have a second video that's going to show you some additional tips and tricks with this but i don't want this first video to get too long so be sure to go to my facebook page just look up megan jack's scrapbooking that's megan with two g's and you'll see the other videos there or check out my youtube channel thanks for watching